Hey y'all, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about summer rose maintenance and more specifically pruning. And there's a couple of reasons you want to prune your roses in the summer. Um, the first is to promote or induce more blooms. And the second is to keep them under control or keep them healthy and vigorous. And so I'm going to show you one of my roses that I have right now um, that is finished blooming. It finished blooming a while ago and I haven't come out here and taken care of it. And so no time like the present. Um, so I want to show that rose to you and show you where it's at, what the, what the spent blooms look like, and how we are going to prune to induce more blooms um, and shape the plant a little bit better. All right, y'all. So this rose here is a variety from David Austin called Jude the Obscure. And as you can see, it has finished its bloom cycle the last go around. Have all these spent blossom, blossom heads here. And we're moving into fall. It's starting to get a little bit cooler in the evenings and it's starting to induce a better, more vigorous bloom cycle. And you can see right here, we're already getting started. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prune this rose right now to induce some really nice, vigorous blossoms for the fall, as well as shape the plant a little bit and prep it so that as we move into winter, that the plant will be ready for winter and it'll stay healthy and vigorous through the winter and come back really strong in the spring. So the first thing you need to know when it comes to pruning roses to get better blossoms and better health is that you want to prune back from the spent blossoms to a leaf that has five or more leaflets. Now what that means, if you look right here, here is a leaf and it has multiple leaflets on it. In this case, this one has six leaflets. And so that's great. We want to cut back from the spent blossoms down the branch to a leaf that has five or more leaflets. Now the reason for that is if you look down in here at the stem, there's a bud right in there. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There's a bud right in there where the leaf meets the stem and that bud will grow a branch and that'll give us some really nice blossoms. So it really is that simple. Just come down from the spent blossoms to a leaf that has five or more leaflets and that's where you wanna make your pruning cut. Now you can get a little bit more particular if you're worried about shaping your, your rose bush and you can go down the branch until you find a leaf with five leaflets and that has a bud that's pointing out away from the interior of the shrub and that will give you a branch that grows away from the center so you don't send growth into the center of your shrub where it could get crowded um, and it'll tend, generally do just a little bit better. So what I'm going to do on this rose bush is I'm going to cut everything back to an outward facing bud that is on the stem where there is a leaf with five or more leaflets. And that should give us a pretty good setup going into fall to get some really good healthy blooms and shape the plant a little bit better. All right, so here we are. We're all pruned up. Now I did take back the one that had already started blooming. I did cut that branch back because I wanted to shape this one a little bit and get it down be a little more bushy for fall. So I did cut off those blossoms and that's okay. I'm gonna get some good healthy blossoms off of the stem that's gonna come out of the branch right here. I had this really good branch back here, really healthy and vigorous. I went down a little bit further than just the first set of leaves. I wanted one that was pointing away from the away from the rose bush um, and I wanted to take the height down of these more vigorous branches so that it matched the, the rest of the shape of the shrub and that's it guys it's that easy and one other thing to note when you're when you're making a pruning cut on roses some of you may already know this but if you don't you want to do about a 45 degree angle if I can get it to focus there you want to do a 45 degree angle um, and be about a quarter of an inch above where the leaf meets the stem or where that new bud is. And that's what you can see right there. 45 degree angle, about a quarter inch above the bud. So the next rose bush I wanna show you guys is this one right here. And it's 
got some really long gangly branches that are growing out of the top there. And so over here, I'm not really gonna do a lot of pruning for blossoms because that was done a couple of weeks ago and it's starting to send out new branches and prepping for a good flush of blooms here in the next few weeks. But I do wanna take care of some of these longer, more egregious branches that if I walk around here, you'll see that they're kind of cutting off the sidewalk. Um, the poor uh, postal worker gets snagged by them every time they come down the sidewalk and it's just getting a little bit out of control. And so I'm gonna come in here and cut those back um, now just to shape the bush a little bit and keep the sidewalk clear. I'm also gonna take care of this one as well. It's already starting to start in its fall bloom cycle. This one's called Lady of Shallot, really nice. We're gonna take a little detour and just show you some of the blossoms here. I love the peach and the pink in these. And sometimes you get a little more yellow and orange. Really nice. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. But there are some branches that are growing out over the sidewalk and so I'm gonna take care of them. And maybe I'll cut this one and take those and stick them in a vase in the house and enjoy those blossoms. But get them out of the way from people trying to walk down the sidewalk. y'all there you go isn't that much better so I've taken the height down quite a bit I even pulled some of these off of the the driveway so I can drive past and not hit them I don't mind cutting shrubs and roses and flowers back to make them fit the space they're in I don't mind losing those blossoms I kind of like it to look a little tidier anyway and then I've cleaned up the sidewalk here you can see the rose branches but a little easier to walk down there now I did want to show you something. This rose bush here, this is Benjamin Britten. It's also a David Austin rose, but it is wicked. And the thorns on this guy, they don't, they are not forgiving at all. But the blossoms are beautiful. I like the, the bright pink, bright intense pink on them. And I think there was one over here. If you guys wanted to see it. And they'll get bigger as the weather gets a little bit cooler, but so pretty and they smell so good that's one thing i like about english roses versus hybrid tea and particularly about the david austin roses is that they do have really good and strong scent to them which i like in a rose not just pretty but they smell good too all right y'all so that's what it is that's how you prune roses in the summer i will point out that you don't want to do this too late into the season so you start getting to the end of september beginning of october you probably don't want to go in into a full cut back of all the spent blossoms on your rose bush and the reason for that is that allowing the rose to set rose hips allowing those blossoms to die and fall off and allowing the fruit underneath the blossoms to form helps the plant set dormancy or go into dormancy and if you let it do that then you run you have less risk of dieback and winter kill issues on your roses so as the season progresses enjoy the blossoms but then let the splint blossoms stay and the rose hips form and you'll be set up for success in the following spring. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or um, thoughts on summer rose care, uh, message me below. If you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.